Hello Einstein class. I hope you're all okay. You might be wondering where I am today. I'm not in my office, am I? And can you see who's over my shoulder just up there? That's our cat Daisy. She's come to listen. And just over this shoulder, there he is, Teddy Robinson. He's on the stairs as well. Well, I wonder why. Do you remember last week? I was telling you a story about someone called Simon Peter who was a fisherman and Jesus went along the beach and saw him and called him and said, come on, follow me. And Jesus took him on a big adventure to learn all about how to live the life that God wants us to live. Well, today I thought I'd tell you a story about someone else who met Jesus and that person was sneaky and was hiding. And so at first nobody knew he was there, but Jesus spotted him. So, I thought I might come to the stairs because part of the story is all about hiding away. Have you ever sat on the stairs and listened to the world from your hiding place? Have you heard mummy and daddy getting breakfast in the kitchen or something on the telly when you should be in bed? Sitting on the stairs can be a strange thing to do. But in my story, it wasn't stairs that the person was sitting on. They climbed a tree. So, let me tell you the story. One day, everybody in town was very excited. They heard that Jesus was coming to visit. And people had already heard about Jesus. They heard that he was very kind, that he was very wise, and that he could make people well. He could help people who had problems and that lots of lots of people wanted to follow him. It was a bit like being a celebrity nowadays. Our friend who was hiding up the tree wasn't very popular. Nobody liked him very much. His job meant he collected money and sometimes he collected more money than he needed and he kept the extra for himself. So people didn't like him. He was also a very small little person and he knew that if he was in the crowd, he wouldn't see Jesus. So he climbed a tree. He climbed up the tree and hid in the leaves like this. So no one would see him. And he waited until Jesus walked by. What do you think happened next? Do you think Jesus knew that he was there? Or do you think... He walked past without noticing him. Well, I'll tell you what happened. Jesus was walking through the city and through the busy streets. Lots of people were shouting to him. Some people joined in to follow him because they wanted to hear what he was going to say. And suddenly Jesus stopped and he looked up into the tree and he said, Hello, come down from there. I'm coming to your house. For my dinner. What? Jesus spotted our friend who was hiding up in the tree straight away. So he had to go back to his house and get it ready to welcome Jesus. And he rushed back and he made his house welcoming and he invited Jesus in for a meal. That was very important in those days. It was called being hospitable, being a host being very generous and kind with your food and with your nice house and welcoming strangers. And so after the meal, Jesus turned to the man and said, tell me all about you. And he told his whole story and he told Jesus how he wasn't very popular and how he didn't always do things right and how he had been taking other people's money. And he said, I don't want to do that anymore, Jesus. I want to follow you. And do you know what he did? He gave back all the money that he'd taken and he gave extra to say sorry. And then he gave up his life collecting taxes and he went off and followed Jesus. So he went on a big adventure too. And his adventure is really important because it shows us that sometimes we are not the most popular person in the world. Sometimes we don't even do things right. Sometimes we can get things wrong. 
but Jesus still loves us and wants us to join him on his adventure. So, don't forget, next time you're trotting up the stairs to bed or to get some things from your room, to think about that little man hiding up in a tree and watching for Jesus to come by. See you next week and I hope soon I'll hear all about your adventures. Bye bye.